Hey everybody and welcome back to the preserves. I hope you're having a good day today. I know I am. It's a little hot outside where I am today. We're going through a heat wave. Um, our temperatures are supposed to hit 106 by I think it was uh, Thursday this week. Today it's supposed to be 102. So I hope you guys are staying safe and keeping hydrated and whatnot so if you uh are out in the sun make sure you make precautions and whatnot i don't want anybody getting sick or heat struck or out anything out there so anyway on today's video we're going to be uh reviewing another well it's not i did not get this guitar off of timu i bought the cheapest les paul off of Amazon and I believe it was a hundred and nineteen hundred and nineteen dollars maybe a hundred and nine I can't can't remember I purchased it about two weeks ago it was either a hundred and nine or a hundred and nineteen dollars it was one of those two numbers um, also today's video is brought to you by it's a boy cigars and this hat, I will be smoking this cigar later, not in my studio, but um, my one of my good friends and um, co-workers just had another baby, and so he uh, handed out some cigars, and, and I will be puffing on that a little bit later today, and... Um, these cigars aren't the best, but he always buys the better ones out of all of them. This one was probably uh, six or seven bucks. You know, they go all the way down to like the four, the four dollar range per cigar. So uh, I think they even go lower than that, but I'm not positive. So anyway, let's. Uh, I, I'm gonna unbox this. You're gonna see it as I see it. Um, not in this video, but in another video on this guitar, I'm going to be replacing um, the tuners on that guitar with some, let me get one here, because all these cheap guitars come with cheap tuners, so I'm going to put some locking tuners on it. And see if that, because sometimes these cheaper guitars have uh, a problem with staying in tune. So we're going to put some locking tuners on it. Let me get the camera set up for some unboxing. And I'll be right back. All right, so we've got this box laid out here in front of us. Um, it's, these boxes, they don't, uh, These boxes, they don't, uh, from Amazon, I bought a couple of guitars off of Amazon. Uh, the other ones that I have now, uh, that I had bought off of Amazon, I do not have now. Um, they went, went to either a family member as a Christmas present or something like that. And I, at that time, I wasn't doing reviews on guitars. So, actually, we got it. Let's flip it over. All right, you see it as I see it. Okay, so it's in a bag, and this guitar is called an Ermic. I'm guessing that's how you pronounce it. Let's pull her out. It's got decent weight to it. First and foremost, let's... uh. See what's in the pocket here. So right off the bat, you get a little uh, a bag here with your picks, a truss rod, Allen, and one of those cheap cables that I don't recommend using. They're unshielded. Uh, you get a strap, and you get 
another set of strings that um, I probably won't use and I just buy I buy strings in bulk and um, I've been thinking about uh, purchasing that bulk pack of uh, New York XLs uh, or NYXLs on the uh, Diodario and uh, I've used them a couple of times on a couple of guitars and they're not bad strings I I tend to stick to Ernie Ball but yeah so the last thing in here is uh, a little tiny little tiny tuner look at that so there we go so that's what she looks like up close pretty cool I I don't know if I like this one better than the oh it's got guitar bass ukulele violin and I can't really I don't have my glasses on it says oh that's chord so and then it has chord tuning okay And then you hold it to turn it off. So, not too bad, not too bad. Little tiny tuners are awesome. Let's see what this guitar looks like. Alright, so we're going to unzip her here. Oh, and she's in one of those fancy bags. And the, the gig bag? Lightly padded with probably some kind of foam like this actually if I'm being honest it's you know not horrible like the Timu guitar but also not great but it's it's better than the Timu guitar all right let's uh pull her out of here so I do have plans for this guitar too to upgrade it a little bit like I said I got those tuners and I've got a new bridge and saddle on the way and uh, the pickups I'm going to leave the same I think and uh, so anyway here's that guitar nice it's heavy for a less you know like a cheap cheap guitar but it's heavy like a Les Paul would be I mean uh, the neck not too bad I mean we got some rough spots up at the top not too bad it's not even as bad as the Timu one uh, the tuners are the exact same ones that came on the Timu guitar exact same um, yeah so basic bolt-on construction it is not a neck through and uh so i'm also going to be replacing these strap buttons i have some um strap locks that i am going to put on it and uh probably uh, i have a strap that i'll probably put on it too that so all my guitars i just uh automatically put new straps on them when they come and uh we go from there after that so anyway so that's what she looks like uh let me get her tuned up and um then we'll uh give her a a, a demo of what what the guitar sounds like so i'll be right back because i'm pretty sure yeah let me see it, this guitar ever in tune <sighs> Yeah, completely out of tune. So let's get her tuned up and then I'll bring you back. All right, so we got this, uh, this guitar all tuned up. And in all actuality, this little tuner works really good. Um, it's, I tried that one compared to my other tuner and, uh, they're, my other tuner is a little bit more expensive tuner, so I know that that one's proper. And that one was dead on with that one, so 
and where that one doesn't give me different uh, options this one gives me options for different instruments so that's cool uh, so anyway let's go ahead and um, start with the bridge pickup and we'll see how that one sounds I've got a little cut on my finger here so I won't be doing much demo today I was building a rack for my four-wheeler yesterday and uh, I gouged my finger on the metal when I was trying to clamp it together so uh, to weld it so uh, let's just go with the basic G not bad on the pickup let's turn her up a little bit give her a little bit more tone Les Pauls you can really you can really blend them I've never owned one personally I've only played a couple of them but I like the fact that when you get them and they have two volumes and two tones you can really blend the sound in the middle in the middle section a lot and I mean I guess you could do that with by wiring a, a blend pot or whatever and in but so let's go over some of the things so uh, the the fret ends they're not bad if I'm being honest, these are probably better than that Timu guitar. I could barely feel them. They do need a little bit of a roundover, so when we take the strings off, we'll probably do a roundover on those. And um, the bridge, I purchased a bridge, so what my plans are for this guitar is is just to black it out. We're going to do a black saddle and, and bridge, and we're going to do... Uh, black tuners like you've seen and the knobs are gonna stay the same and that plates already black so and the tips already black so all I got to change out is these two items here and I don't think I'm gonna mess with any of the electronics I could put different knobs on there I do have black knobs but uh, these ones are already black we'll just leave them on there and so let's uh hear what they sound like uh, through a tube screamer distortion style pedal. I'm just using the Timu Dumbler that I got. Click it on. Bridge, bridge and middle. about this guitar is that when you're uh, sitting down there's it pushes the guitar back further than I like it um, and then when you try to sit like this it's fine but I don't like to play like this so that's the only problem with Les Pauls I think but when you stand up with them they just hang so well on you uh, because the body is a bit heavier but anyway straight out of the box Ermic great fucking job I'm telling you what this guitar sounds pretty dang good for a cheap guitar. I don't know how these companies 
are fucking doing it, really. Uh, maybe this was a Chipson fucking uh, reject. I don't know. I don't see any flaws on it, really. Uh, there is a bunch of fingerprints, and uh, maybe the, they, there is a little bit of scuffing on the paint. Maybe that was it. But, I mean, they're not scratches. They just look like when they were buffing it, they didn't they didn't do a great job. Um, but, I mean, I can fix that up in, you know, 10 minutes with a little bit of buffing compound and just buff out the pol and polish it, you know. So, I mean, all in all, that's right there. That's not a bad guitar. It's, it's decent, you know. Uh, you can't. Uh, I'm telling you what, you can, you can go and you can purchase, you know, a name brand guitar, and you know, you've got the, you got the brand name. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but so you know, I've had, you know, tons of guitars over over the years, and you know what? Some of them guitars didn't have the fit and finish that this guitar actually has straight out of the I mean it may be a cheap guitar but this guitar sure the neck's unfinished you know there's a couple of things that you would want to upgrade on it like the tuners but um fit and finish on this guitar is not horrible you know you could do a little bit more round over on the on the fret ends but you're not gonna get a better deal than some of these cheap guitars the, these guitars are made pretty decently for how cheap they are back in the day I remember you used to be able to get like a, a Squire and that guitar was a POS that thing was a, the one of the biggest piece of shit you can get Ibanez freaking um, Geo series those were pieces of shit too but you could you can get one of these and they're they're better guitars than those ones were coming off the from a name brand company so these just cheap $100 guitars are not bad so anyway that's going to do it for the preserves today guys uh i hope you enjoyed this video i enjoyed making it and uh i would like to say thank you to all the people that have watched my videos and uh, I'm slowly getting up there uh, a lot of you guys aren't aren't subscribed that uh, that actually watch my videos so uh, if you could go down and hit that subscribe button that'd mean a lot to me and leave a like and comment what you thought about this guitar you know like I said I couldn't play too much today my finger is actually throbbing really bad right now just from pushing on the fin stretch you know going like that it's just hitting the edge of that finger right there so and uh the cut actually goes deeper i folded the skin underneath on that so it actually is pretty bad um anyway you guys have a great day and stay safe because it's where i am it's hot if you're if it's over 100 degrees you guys need to stay hydrated and anyway with that peace You ever do something so stupid that uh, when you realized you've done it, you're like, what a fucking idiot. Anyway, I'll tell you what happened. <laughs> Holy shit, I'm a fucking idiot. I put the in and the out and the out and the in and fucking uh, all I was doing was passing through before. And then when I turned on the fucking pedal, it wouldn't fucking... Uh, wouldn't do shit with no sound because well you get it they were fucking crossed so anyway